The battle by locals to save Grafton Jail is over. Police arrived in the early hours of the morning with the riot squad standing by. But there was no resistance. The picketers simply turned their backs as corrective services began moving prisoners out. Locals say the scaling back of the jail's operations could be the last straw for their town, calling it Grafton's darkest day. Philippa MacDonald reports from Grafton. For five days, locals held an around-the-clock vigil, desperate to stop prisoners being moved from the jail and the loss of more than 100 jobs. This community deserves more than this. Early this morning, these men, women and children lost their fight as the police moved in to ensure the trucks could enter and leave the jail. This has been, in my view, uh, one of the darkest moments in Grafton's history. The riot squad were in town on standby. The protesters didn't attempt a blockade, they simply turned their backs. We did this because this is exactly what the government has done for the last six days. Overnight, the prisoner population here has gone from 250 to 60. There's 108 jobs to be lost and some of the staff here have worked here for well over 25 years. The economic impact of course is uh, a bit hard to measure but we, we understand that the impact is somewhere around $29 million. The government's announcement to scale back one of the state's oldest jails came just over a fortnight ago. The government is still Sydney centric and some of these economic rationalist decisions that are made don't take into account what happens in the regions. In the end it came down to money. It costs $173 a day to keep a prisoner here in Grafton, compared to just $98 a day in some of the state's newer prisons. But that's cold comfort for the people of Grafton who've seen an abattoir and a call centre close in just the past 18 months. We make no apologies for doing what we said we would do before the election, which is trying to reduce inefficiency, cut out waste and mismanagement across the New South Wales public sector. It's Grafton Cup Day here, but the celebrations have been dampened. I'm not very happy about it in as much that it's put a lot of people out of work. And why? Tough times also for inmates' families. They'll now have to travel to Cessnock to see their loved ones. Philippa MacDonald, ABC News, Grafton.